Okay, in this short video we're going to have a look at um, some sketches of straight lines. So we are given a picture of a, of a straight line. Here we are. I've got four examples on the board. Um, we've got some information about what's going on in the, on the axes for these sketches. And what we've got to do is work out what the equation of each of the straight lines is from the picture. Okay, this is what we're going to do then. Um, in each case, these are diagonal lines, I know that the equation for this one here must be y equals something. What I need to do is work out how many x's I've got and what the number on the end of the equation is. Well, because it's crossing at plus 4 there, then I know the number on the end must be plus 4. Now that is really straightforward, so it's y equals so many x's plus 4. Okay, next, to find out the number of x's that we've got, we work out the slope or the gradient of the line. Okay, first of all, you've got to realise that the slope of this line can be worked out by looking at the little right angle triangle that you can see that is present in the picture. And for that right angle triangle, you simply work out the height and divide it by the base. So the slope which if you remember we call the letter M in this work, the slope is going to be the height divided by the base for this particular triangle. So the height of that triangle goes from 0 to 4, which is 4, and you divide it by the base. Now be careful, you do not make use of the negative numbers in this calculation here. All you say is it goes from 0 there on the x-axis and goes down to minus 2. Well that is simply two steps. So the distance for the base is just two, two steps. The fact that it goes from 0 to minus 2 doesn't matter. It is two steps. So what we do is we do height divided by base, 4 divided by 2, and that gives you an answer of 2. Okay, now, finally, this is where the sign of the slope comes in. You now say, which way does the slope go? The slope goes that way, so it's a positive slope. At this point, you now go to your 2, which is the slope value, and enter in the plus sign at the end. So I know it's a positive 2 slope. So now you go to here and you insert a positive 2 in front of the x. So it's y equals 2x plus 4, and that's the equation of that straight line. Okay. Now I've gone into the second sketch a little bit with my writing, but I hope you can see the working out. Let me get rid of this working out for question two, so you can see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to do exactly the same principle for the second question. I'm going to work out what the slope is first, so m is equal to, it's going to be the height divided by the base, I'll just shorten it to h over b for height over base. So the slope will be equal to, now I draw that little triangle to use. The height of this particular uh, triangle is 6, not minus 6, because it goes from 0 to minus 6. So the height of that triangle is 6 steps, 6 units high. And the base of that triangle, well the base we normally associate with being the bottom side of a triangle. But the base really just means the horizontal distance of the triangle. And that is from there to there, which is, if you like, 2 steps. So the base is 2. So on my calculation, I do height, which is 6, divided by base, which is 2. So we do 6 over 2. 6 shared by 2. You work that out, the answer is 3. Now you take account of which way the slope is going. It's going that way. So it's going that way, which means now we insert a negative at the end, because it's going that way. So the slope is negative 3. So therefore, the equation, which is what I want, is y equals negative 3x, that's the number in front of the x, the slope negative 3, and then the number on the end is simply where it crosses the x, sorry, the y-axis, the y-axis. So that crosses at minus 6, so the number on the end is simply minus 6, and that is the end of the equation. y equals minus 3x minus 6 is the equation of that straight line sketch. Okay, very quickly, looking at this one here, uh, the equation is going to be y equals, it crosses at plus 10 on the y-axis, so plus 10 on the end. To get the number of x's, I do a triangle, like so. The height of that triangle goes from 0 to 10, which is 10. 
it goes from 0 to 2, which is 2. So the height and the base are 10 and 2. So the slope will be height divided by base. The slope will be 10 share by 2. The slope will be 5. Now you think, which way does it go? Well, it goes that way. Uh, no, it doesn't. It goes that way. So the slope is a negative slope. So I now insert minus 5. Its slope is minus 5. So here we put minus 5x. So y equals minus 5x plus 10 is the equation of that straight line. Last one. Okay, I know that for the slope it's height divided by base. The slope will be, now the height, I'm going to use this triangle here. The height goes from minus 2 up to 0. Well that is two steps. And the base is from there to there, it's the horizontal distance from 0 to 7 is 7 steps. So the height is 2 and the base is 7. And finally, okay, you have a line that is sloping that way, so that means it's a positive slope. So it's positive 2 sevenths. Um, 2 divided by 7 is not a nice answer, so I'm going to leave the answer as a fraction, 2 sevenths. That is something that happens now and again, you need to be aware of it. You don't always get, when you're working at the slope, these nice numbers like 2 minus 5 minus 3. You might get a fraction answer, 2 sevenths. 2 shared by 7, 2 sevenths. So therefore, the equation in this particular case will be y equals 2 sevenths positive 2 sevenths x. And then the number on the end will be this minus 2 down here. So take away 2. That is the equation described by that sketch. And that is how you take a sketch of a straight line and work out from the sketch what the equation is. That's the end of this video.